Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps, and I'm here today with a little haul. So basically, I went back home to LA, that's where I grew up, to visit my family for the holidays, and I couldn't help but snag a few goodies. Well, okay, <laughs> more than a few goodies for myself. Um, so you know what? Let's just get right into it. I don't want to ramble too much. So, okay. The first thing that I got, um, I'm just going to list them by like little categories based on the store that I got because I figure if you guys like these two, maybe you can stop by these because I got them fairly recently. So the first store that I went to was Marshalls. I love bargain stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Like those stores are just super bomb. I feel like it's like a little treasure hunt every time I go there. <laughs> and let me show you the first one that I got. So this here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the shade Deep. Oh my God. When I saw this at Marshalls, I did a double take because this usually retails for about 40 bucks and it was on sale for 20. So I got it for half off. I know it's been around for a little while, but I just was like, you know what? Now's my chance. I can finally try it out. <laughs> so I have used this today and I love the shades. I feel like I can mix this one here and this one here to kind of highlight like right under my brow after I finish doing my brows. And I love that there are so many different options for um, cream like bronzers. I love that. So I'm just excited to play around with this a bit more. Next up, this is from Stila. It's their Got Inked Cushion Eyeliner. So it's in the shadow Smoky Quartz Ink. And when you look inside, it just looks super dark. So I thought, okay, cool. It's gonna just be like a dark greenish, you know, little liner. But um, it just looks so gorgeous. It's like a sparkly, I don't know if you guys can see the liner on my um, eyes right now. It's just one of a kind. And I didn't expect it to be this vibrant and sparkly. I feel like it's the perfect way to jazz up like a nude smoky eye or any nude, um, you know, eye look that you do. And I feel like it's totally work or school appropriate. So you guys gotta check this uh, Got Inked liner in the color smoky quartz out. It's super, super bomb. Okay, so the next items I got at Walgreens. So they're all drugstore and I'm just gonna warn you guys, I heavily lean towards Milani products, but I got a good little, good little mix in here. This right here is a liquid lipstick from Milani's Amour Matte Collection. And this is in the color My Soulmate. Let me just show you guys how cute cute this is. Like it's just a beautiful like red metallic-y color and I'm just feeling it. It screams holidays, it screams winter to me and being as I have nice full lips I know I'm gonna be able to do this justice, you know what I mean? <laughs> Next up this is the Milani Prime Light. Now it's their face primer and it's got strobing and pore minimizing properties. So I'm so excited. I've always wanted to try the strobe products. Um, I know that MAC came out with one at the end of last year, but it was a little too pricey for me. So the Milani one was like right up my alley. I was like, all right, let me just check this out. It has the most beautiful, like subtle glow. And of course I got to swatch this for you guys. So let me just put this on. When it comes out the tube, you can see right here, it just looks purely white. But as you can see, if I put this on right here, and you gotta really rub it in. And now you can see here, it's got those like nice reflective properties. And then you can see just for reference, this is my hand without it, and this is my hand with it right there. Oh my gosh, like just, Check out the glow. Can you imagine this on your face? Let me know if you guys want me to do um, a dope or a nope review on this to kind of test it out, see what my first impressions are, see what it looks like after a whole day of wear. I'm totally happy. So just let me know down in the comments if that's what you guys want to see. So this little guy right here is from Maybelline. It's from the color Tattoo Line. Now this is in the color Bronze Truffle. So it's just this little eye crayon and 
I got this because I can totally do like some neutral looks, which is, I don't know, I'm just kind of feeling the neutral vibes lately. So let me swatch this for you guys. So you can see what it looks like. And see how it's just like that bronze shimmer right there? Uh, it's so, so pretty. I know it kind of looks a little bit silvery, but uh, I just can't, can't get enough. It just looks so freaking gorgeous, you guys. And it goes on so smoothly, so you won't have that, if you have experience with crayons kind of tugging at your eye area, this is not gonna do that. It goes on like a freaking dream so smoothly and you can definitely blend it out with your fingers i think these types of cream shadows are best blended out with your fingers you can use a brush of course but i feel like you can really just smooth it out evenly that way you know but i definitely intend to do some cool looks with that this next one is super highly sought after it's from milani's uh strobe palette and this is for the face and the eyes. So let me just open this up for you guys. Check out like the sweet golden vibes. Basically they only had like two Milani um, palettes left and it was this one and like a way lighter shade. So I was like, oh my God, if I don't grab this now, I'm never gonna be able to get this until it's been out for like six months. <laughs> so I wanna swatch this for you guys. Uh, by the way, this is the shade Golden Light. It's 03. So I'm using a Kabuki brush and this is just so I can really be able to show off that color payoff for you guys. All right, so I've really swirled my brush in there. Let's see what it looks like. It's very subtle though, you guys, I love it. You can see those little like pink tones and there's a little bit of that gold in there. So you can stick, let me bring this up right here. So you can stick to either the golden vibes here or the pink shadows or you can swirl it around and create kind of this cool little like effect you can see on this hand here. Oh man, like I'm really feeling it. I can't believe that you can even use it on your eyes too. I'm, I'm like sold. Sold. Milani, I love you. Just, I just want to marry this palette already. So next up, I got something from Black Radiance, and I love that company. But every time I go to the drugstore, I feel like their stuff is always sold out, so it's really hard for me to get a hold of a lot of things. This cute little trio palette here is so beautiful. You can create a lot of you know, neutral slash dark brownish smoky eyes. This is called, uh, it's from their Urban Identity Shadow Trio Kit, and it's called Bashful. So freaking beautiful. Like just, ah, uh, it's just so beautiful. And I feel like the pigmentation's really great. You can build it up. That's the brown color. And this little mauve one right here, go next to it so it's really more of like a neutrally shade so you can do a lot of stuff with this and this last one here I'm thinking about this as like a nice inner highlight or inner corner highlight so these three are so cute like perfect for like I said neutral type of looks you're trying to you know go to work not get too crazy but still have a nice beautiful eye look. I feel like you can do a lot with this. So I'm definitely going to be sneaking these in into uh, tutorials soon. So the next store that I went to uh, was Ulta. So these are not like, you know, drugstore prices, but I found some really cool finds. So the first one here is this single pot. It's kind of like a glossy eyeshadow and it's from the company Butter London. Now, um, this is so freaking beautiful when I show you guys. I mean, it's, if you want to create, I don't know if you can see, there you go. If you guys want to create that cool, like, wet eyeshadow look, this is perfect, perfect for that. And I just love how pigmented it is. When I, um, swatched it against my skin, I was like, whoo! It just, it had me, like, shook in Ulta. I was like, you're coming home with me today so let me just swatch this for you guys like look how pigmented that is oh my god it is so beautiful i'm like really feeling nude and bronzy type of looks if you guys can tell by the types of products that i got 
it's so freaking pigmented and I love that especially for darker skin tones you want something that's gonna be able to show up on your skin this is like straight fire and silly me you guys this shade is actually called spark very appropriately named by the shade so uh, I just I can't get enough can't get enough then I got this cool um, little Tartiste paint uh, it's like a liquid lipstick kind of formula, but it really stays on your lips. And this is the color brownie. So what I did was I lined my lips with MAC chestnut and then I went over the whole thing with brownie. So I really love this. I think this is like an equal dupe for, um, what is that Kylie Jenner shade? It's, um... Uh, oh, True Brown uh, from Kylie Cosmetics. I think this is just a tad lighter, but it's so pretty. And I honestly think that this has better staying power than True Brown from Kylie Cosmetics. So you guys definitely got to check this out. It's an appropriate, like nude slash darker nude for my skin tone if that makes sense and I've been drinking coffee for like hours and it still stayed on I have not retouched it so that shows you how good it is then next this is from Murad this is their rapid age spot and pigment lightening serum so they have like a much bigger size it's like this big and I actually heard about it from makeup Shayla is watching her snaps and I got the smaller size one. This is about 15 bucks at Ulta because I wanted to use it as a spot application for when I'll have a breakout and then afterwards I have like a dark spot on there. I want to be able to just like dab it on and that way it'll lighten up a lot quicker. So I just got it. I can't really attest to how fast, you know, it gets rid of hyperpigmentation, but um, it does agree with my sensitive skin, that's what I can tell you, and I thought 15 bucks isn't bad. I mean, you barely use, like just the tiniest bit, you know, goes a long way, so I feel like the size is like just perfect for me. And last but not least, what would this be without some makeup remover? Now I got the Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. They were having a sale at Ulta, so I just picked this up. Uh, I use oil-free makeup removers because I have eyelash extensions and you want to avoid wearing oily or makeup with oily products or whatever in there. So I use the oil-free makeup remover um, and I have to say this removes eye makeup so well. I just like to, I use like this and a makeup remover like sometimes I'll use the little cotton pads but honestly they tend to get stuck in my eyelash extensions so I use a makeup remover just because I feel like I don't get those like small little like white fibers stuck in my eyelash extensions and then when I really want to get super close to my lash line I just put a q-tip in here and then rub it on my lash line or I'll take my fingers rub it on my lash line when they're clean you know after I've washed them and do that so if you guys are looking for a great eye makeup remover try this one out all right so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul um, I'm thinking about doing another best in beauty series for skincare and then another one for natural hair but let me know what you guys are thinking also, I will be at Gen Beauty in LA. I won't be having any meetups, but I will just be there. So I would love to meet some of you if you're watching me and you live in the LA area or you're just gonna be down there. Um, I can't remember the dates off the top of my head, but I'll put it somewhere up here. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys are gonna be there and if you guys want to see a Best in Beauty series for skincare and uh, natural hair. All right, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!